Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So yeah, I wanted to just ask Janessa a bit about her journey with One Meal A Day, which she started around three months ago. If I remember correctly, yeah, it's around early May she yes. started it. And yeah, first I wanted to ask you like, what made you want to go towards One Meal A Day? <laughs> um, many reasons, mostly because um, I was intrigued by the benefits of it, like in fat loss and increase in muscle mass and just overall like mental clarity and energy and improvements on digestion and I'm willing to try anything when it comes to improving my health and so I thought that I would just try it out and see how it worked for me. Yeah, and did you find it was quite hard to get started on this journey or not? No, I found it to be pretty easy, but I think that was because one, I was with somebody that obviously was like, <laughs> really um, into it already and it came very easy and so being around somebody that's already in that flow made it really easy for myself to um, yeah do it for myself and also I experimented with intermittent fasting and so making the switch from that to OMAD was also a lot easier because I think when you're eating multiple meals and then you go to OMAD like I think it's a lot harder for the body to adjust in general yeah when you're eating like three meals a day and snacks yeah. in between so when you say you was doing like intermittent fasting in the past what type of intermittent fasting was you doing because there's so many different types mostly the 16 8 um but where you fast, fasting yeah. for up to 16 hours and then eating within an eight window period but honestly like i wasn't very um consistent with doing it every single day like some days i would do it and then some days i wouldn't and then sometimes i would you know eat certain things that weren't truly in a fasted state like i would have like coffee with like sugar and stuff and then <laughs> i would like fast the rest of the day and so i wasn't really yeah consistent with like doing intermittent fasting every single day correctly yeah and you were doing some things that were breaking out of a fasted state without yes. realizing it which a lot of people make that mistake with intermittent fasting yeah. so yeah how has your experience been with doing it for the last three months roughly um, I really enjoy it. I like the simplicity of it and the free time that it gives me um, because I'm not focused so much on one getting food or thinking about like all my meals and what I'm going to do to prepare for it um, and I noticed that improvements in digestion were definitely a lot better um, from the beginning of my journey until now. Yeah I think the biggest benefit that I have enjoyed with one meal a day is the freedom that I have around just eating in general like I have a lot more time to do the things that I'm passionate about and not worry about my meals and like what I'm gonna eat throughout the day and also I was very surprised by the amount of energy that I have in the day with fasting for an extended amount of time and I really enjoy not only the energy throughout the day but also like during training like I notice I can just work out really really hard and I think that's because obviously I don't have food digesting in my system and so I really like that aspect. And do you find that you recover faster from training sessions that are really really hard as yes, well? Yes definitely and that's yeah that's also a really good benefit like I tend to not really get too sore or tired after a really intense workout and more so often I have even more energy like after the training session. Yeah, which is pretty surprised about. <laughs> yeah, some, some pretty significant, amazing benefits as well. And what are some of the mistakes that you've done on one meal a day, if any, for that matter of fact? Definitely overeating to the point of discomfort, <laughs> <laughs> uh, especially in the beginning, because I had a little bit of a fear of like under eating. And so I was just like really pushing myself to eat as much as possible. And yeah, and I think as well because oh, yeah, I was types eating. Of food yeah, as well. yeah, the types of food. Well, you yeah, mentioned a bit about that more before I go into what I'm going to mention. Yes, um, I think with also one meal a day, I was just giving myself permission to eat whatever I wanted because I thought that it wouldn't really affect me that badly. So I was eating a lot of like more high fat, high salt processed foods and it was definitely affecting me in a negative way. Yeah, and she thought she'd get away with it because I can but her digestion wasn't as optimal yes. as mine. It's still pretty good digestion but still not as good as mine. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you also found certain foods were just overstimulating if I remember correctly. So you would yes. just overeat more and more and more. Yeah. Which said just made you feel bad. And also I think being around me with eating loads and loads of calories and being able to do it and not affect me in a negative way, I think 
that was also a contributing factor for her eating more. Would you agree or not? Yes, definitely. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of people when they watch me, they're like, wow, you can eat so many calories and they try to do it and they can't do it. And then they think they can't stay on one meal a day due to that reason, but just eat the amount of calories that you need just to the point of satiation. Yes. <laughs> because otherwise, you know, it's some negative effects like she has. So from your own experience with one meal a day for three months, what would be your tips to people that are new on this journey or are finding it hard to succeed on the one meal a day diet? Um, I think listening to your body is like the most important thing and just taking notice as to when your body is like going um, really deep into a stress response because with fasting it's like you are putting stress on your body and if it's like if you're not feeling good then I would say stop immediately and go back to either intermittent fasting or whatever feels best for you until your body gets kind of adjusted to eating one meal a day. But what would you say if it's detoxification symptoms would you be able to tell the difference between the two and whether you need to push for it and do things additional to help your body detoxify itself or not um i think yeah making sure that you are taking the right supplements and eating the right kind of diet to help um help your body with any detox symptoms that you may be experiencing yeah and, and making sure you're well hydrated as well yeah, to remove toxins and just doing other things to kind of detox the body, like exercising and sleeping enough and maybe doing other things to help your body detox, yeah. like going to the sauna. Yeah, or coffee enemas or yes. salt water flushes. There's so many different methods out there that can help reduce those detoxification symptoms. And yeah, Janessa just asked me, how do you actually know the difference between its detox symptoms or not? And something that I'm an expert on is detoxification because I've done loads of this for years and I coach people on this. And sometimes you're not gonna know when. But what I say is if you're not feeling so good, ask yourself, did I sleep enough? Did I go to bed too late? Yeah. Am I hydrated enough? Did I eat enough calories the day before when eating my one meal a day? And try and do some things for detoxification. A lot of times detoxification symptoms can be fatigue, headaches, acne, diarrhea, even constipation can be, and various other different ones. And what I'd say is with detoxification symptoms, they shouldn't last for like weeks on end. They may last up to a week or for days and days and days. If they still don't go away after that sort of time period, then you could say maybe one meal a day is not working for you, or it may just be run into some nutritional deficiencies or other things. So it's not necessarily one meal a day to blame. And what would you say for your own personal experience about people and hunger? Because a lot of people said they have hunger issues. I notice that most of the time when I'm feeling hungry, most of the time it's I'm either dehydrated or, um, what was I gonna say? Bored? <laughs> yes, bored. <laughs> I'm just looking for something to consume. And once I was properly hydrated and just filling my day with things to pretty much just keep me busy or active. Yeah, and that you enjoyed. Um, yeah, and that I enjoyed that really food was not on my mind at all and there really was no hunger. Yeah. And it's a lot of people just want to seek pleasure from their food and get that instant gratification from it and they got dissatisfaction with the inside of themselves so yeah i highly recommend doing those things she's definitely just mentioned yes and i i come from a past of like food addiction and so i definitely think that omad helps me to kind of not think about food at all and be like okay i'm committing to this lifestyle and that pretty much helps me with like yeah not yeah and it's on food so much <laughs> yeah so you'd say that it definitely helps with overcoming food addictions would yes. you say then like food yeah. binging mm -hmm. yeah which so many people have issues with them a lot of people think with intermittent fasting that it will not be a good thing to do when you've got issues like that going on what <laughs> about in relation to weight loss how's your weight loss journey been so far so i noticed that in the beginning there was significant weight loss but i didn't really notice it specifically until i measured myself because when i was weighing myself i didn't really see that much of a drastic change but then when i measured myself i saw that i had actually lost weight like especially around my midsection and you ahead. measured yourself at the start didn't you yes. like relatively early on yeah. and like into it or something yeah when you then checked it at a later date, you noticed some significant improvement, especially around your belly area, wasn't it, you mentioned? Yes, in that section. And yeah, what has happened since that point forward for the rest of the three month journey with one meal a day and the weight loss? So I noticed that the weight loss kind of 
stopped in a way and then um, I was thinking that I wasn't really making any progress, it was kind of just staying the same, but then when I measured myself there actually was change. But then also with like the weight, when I weighed myself I noticed that it was um, relatively staying the same, but I also think that because I'm doing calisthenics and weight training that there's an increase in muscle mass. So in general I think that it's much beneficial for you to measure yourself rather than weigh yourself because yeah. Muscle weighs more than fat, and so you can see that your weight is kind of staying the same, but obviously, like, there are changes. You just can't really tell if you're weighing yourself. Yeah, and this is what I recommended to her to do, is actually do the measurements, because a lot of people, people can be cutting their excess body fat, and they check the scales, and they don't notice any changes, or it may even go up a bit, or yes. just slightly down. But yeah, she said, she's doing calisthenics exercises, which I found a lot of people that need to lose body fat, and gain muscle at the same time that a lot of the time their weight cannot change much because as you mentioned you could be gaining muscle mass at the same time as reducing body fat percentage which I did that with calisthenics and one meal a day combined so some people can freak out check the scales and be like oh, I'm yeah, not losing any weight <laughs> and I've had a lot of people say that to me and it's just like yeah take those measurements and also take some photographic evidence as well so you can compare yourself with new photos from the present moment with those old ones and you can then see if you've had any difference with the weight loss benefits on one meal a day and also if I remember correctly you also stalled with your weight loss benefits as or well and then you started taking a specific supplement which started yes. aiding in your weight loss even further didn't you yes that was dim yeah which dim is three indole carbonyl which is naturally found in cruciferous vegetables and do you know what it does exactly or should I explain it to them <laughs> what actually happened when you started taking it definitely um, shrinkage around my midsection and I'm not quite sure if it was like fat loss or just like reducing water retention but I know that um, DIM helps with regulating estrogen in the body and that's about all I know like, yes yeah, so it gets rid of excess estrogen metabolites that are not beneficial for you at all yes. it doesn't actually lower beneficial estrogen metabolites within the body because a lot of people have xenoestrogens within the body that come from plastic sources which a lot of people drinking bottled water having microbe meals and getting xenoestrogens in all types of forms on a regular basis in the body so be people become more estrogen dominant when you're more estrogen dominant testosterone levels go down and then what happens muscle mass goes down water retention goes up and your fat mass goes up as well so this is something that I highly recommend it to her. And how much is you taking and how often, just in case anyone wonders? Um, I'm taking it once a day in one capsule with my meal. And Yeah, because it's key yes. to have it with meal to maximize the absorption. And I will put links down below for this. And also I will put a link down below for her video where she talks about that experience in yes. a more details and depth. And for anyone wondering, out there what type of diet you eat in combination with one meal a day what yeah diet have you been eating um whole foods plant-based diet um i don't know what else to say yeah which is also known as a vegan <laughs> yes diet for anyone that doesn't know what a whole foods plant-based vegan diet is but yes, it's where you're no, eating mostly products. plant foods in their whole form yes not processed she has some processed things here and there but majority it's yeah whole foods yeah and would you say everyone needs to be eating that way to be on one meal a day? No, definitely not. And how comes that you do it in combination with one meal a day? Um, well, I just resonate more with the vegan lifestyle. I don't want to consume any animal products due to the ethical side, moral side. But also, I just find that overall, um, I enjoy eating plant-based because it improves my energy and just makes me feel the most alive and the most vibrant. Yeah, and does it help optimize your digestion and di yes, digestive health? Yes, definitely improves digestion, helps my sleep, helps with muscle recovery. There's just so many benefits and yeah, I just really enjoy eating yeah. plant foods. And what would you say for people that are finding they've got digestive issues with one meal a day? Say like they've got constipation and just their digestion slowing down. Is this something you experienced or not? Yeah, I did experience it at first, but I found with consistently doing it that it actually improved. And so I think it's just your body adjusting to this new way of eating and that with time it'll improve. Yeah, and was you doing anything new on your like 
diet journey and with the intermittent fasting like one meal a day that could have helped improve your digestion as well um yes including fermented foods and a good probiotic to include into your diet yeah and you've been taking a lot more supplements as well if i remember correctly yes that as well to um, just improve my or overall gut bacteria because if you do not have good gut bacteria you will not have optimal digestion and for anyone that is interested in the probiotic that she's just mentioned i put links down below for uk us and worldwide supplies i use it myself as well and it's the one i use with my clients uh, it's just a really good high quality probiotic and yeah fermented foods are even like amazing to use in addition as she just mentioned because they just have an abundance of different bacteria as well and is there anything else you'd like to add before we end this video that you haven't already shared with people um i would say if you're interested in doing one meal a day but you're kind of afraid or hesitant to trying it i would say just do as much research as you possibly can so that you're confident that omad is right for you and yeah i'd say that's it yeah my last thing i'd add is find people that are thriving on it and yes. learn from them what they're doing and what i do is i put a link down below for her channel she also offers coaching if you're interested you can find her contact details for her youtube channel she really knows what she's doing from her own personal experience and the information i've taught her and from the resources that she's learned online yep. to make one meal a day work the best for her so yeah any comments or questions leave them down below don't forget to like the video if you like it if you don't give us a thumbs down we don't mind and don't forget to share this with your friends that you think or family members that may be interested in the video and the content in it today. And don't forget to click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. And make sure if you do want to be notified of when those new videos are uploaded that you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. <laughs> Otherwise YouTube is not going to notify you when they are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and get, get those, those gains. gains. Peace.